Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Scott with Kingdom Gold, and I'm going to tell you something that your mama probably won't tell you, okay? Um, and I'm going somewhere with this, so just, just bear with me, all right? And that something is this. Nobody cares about you, okay? Nobody cares about you. And, you know, of course, I'm talking in the in the business sense, you know, of course, I care about you and love you, you know. But <clears throat> if you really stop and think about it, nobody cares about you, your business, what you have to offer, <clears throat> whatever, okay? Especially in this day and age, all right? There's, there's the internet, there's Amazon, there's so many things going on right now, right? There's just all this noise and all this traffic and all of this, you know, everybody's trying to get a, uh, get a buck and there's so many scammers and things like, and people are just kind of numb to, to businesses. Doesn't matter if it's your family, friends, acquaintances, whatever. Um, you really have to focus on what sets you apart so that you change this from nobody cares to everybody cares okay so we're trying to get no to everybody all right how do you do that well i said this uh before and i want to kind of reiterate this and go through a couple of exercises what sets you apart from any other <clears throat> business competitor opportunity um you know what sets you apart from anybody else okay and what sets you apart is going to make sure that this, this right here, all right, this everybody comes from a nobody, all right? So instead of nobody caring about you, what sets you apart is going to be what makes everybody care about you, all right? So let's take, I think a really good example of this, honestly, is Whole Foods, okay? So what did Whole Foods do? You know, Whole Foods at the end of the day is just any other grocery store right? It, it's got, you know, food, cereal, milk, whatever, uh, the, the butcher shop, um, got a pretty good deli section actually, but what's, what really set them apart <clears throat> where people started noticing them. Okay. It is the word. All right. Whole, right? Whole foods. Oh, what does whole foods mean? What does that mean? Well, our stuff is organic. Our stuff doesn't have all the uh, preservatives and whatever else. Okay. So Whole Foods, even though it's really just another grocery store at the end of the day, you know, it's, it, it really, that's really all it is. What sets them apart is the quality of their stuff. It's the, the organicness. It's that they've catered to kind of the, uh, the, the market that they've catered to is kind of like the, the upper middle class, kind of mm -hmm. lower upper class market. Okay. The, uh, the 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 teens the uh, the the hippies you know what the whatever you want to call it they they have catered to that market and they are kicking butt and taking names with that okay even so much that Amazon okay Amazon didn't go try to buy buy Walmart right they went and bought Whole Foods okay <clears throat> so Whole Foods to me is a really good example of this think about any other um, commodity any other um, anything that you use a lot, any store you're familiar with, things like that, what sets them apart is what they end up marketing to people. And that is what ends up being the message to make everybody care about them. Okay. Um, what are some, what are some other brands that you can think of that kind of fit this model? Okay. The, the, the brands where they, they really set themselves apart. Um, off the top of my head, Apple, okay, Apple is probably another fantastic example of this. Because what did they, I got a, I have an iPhone right here, okay? What did they do? Did they really make the best possible, you know, device or whatever right off the bat? No, what did they do? They they had the cool factor, right? They, they saw into the future and saw that apps were going to be a thing, okay? And, you know, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, it, it makes phone calls and it lets you get your emails on the internet, right? But they put so much more stuff into this and made it Apple, 
okay so instead of like all the other phones that there are now where nobody cares about them now you have everybody cares about apple or if you're a samsung person okay everybody cares about samsung all right so that is what you really have to key in on <clears throat> when you are in the business world okay what sets you apart from everyone else why should somebody call your number um, and if you read the book, uh, 10X Rule, which, you know, I highly recommend, you guys are probably sick of hearing me talking about it by now. Um, one of the big themes in the book is that you have to build your fire so hot and so large that even your competitors think about you first thing in the morning. Okay. And I think that's actually kind of a cool concept. So what is going to make even your competitors that they're going to have the moves that they make, they're going to have to make those moves around you. Okay. So you're not making moves around your competitors, or at least you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be making moves based upon what your competitors are doing. That's not forward thinking. Forward thinking is you're moving so hard, so fast and so far that your competitors are like, how could I ever keep up? Well, let me change my strategy to fit this, or let me do this instead of that. Okay. So <clears throat> how do you do that? All right. And of course, I don't have my eraser, so let's just let's just do that with my little pinky there. All right. It's not so little because I have big hands, right? Okay. So, what sets you apart? Why should people listen to your message before any others? Okay. First thing you have to know is attention. How are you going? To, that it looks really terrible on camera, probably because I'm writing it terribly. Sorry about that. What is going to grab their attention? Okay. How are you going to do that? There, there's like. You have to understand that there's streams of traffic, okay? People are just inundated with all this stuff. And you have to do something that grabs your attention. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you have a good message or not because they're not going to listen to it, okay? So what is going to grab your their attention? <clears throat> Two. Three core desires. Okay? looks really funky. All right. I'm going to redo the S just because I love you guys and I care. Okay. So the three core desires, uh, I've done a couple of videos. If you're interested, maybe I can, uh, I can go drop a link in the, in the description of this, but the three core desires. Okay. How does what you are doing or your product, your service, how does that fit with their three core desires, which remember their health, wealth, and relationships. Okay. How do you draw their attention to fit into how does your problem, I'm sorry, how does your solution fit my three core desires problem? Okay. When you get these right here now, okay, now people are open up to your message. Okay. This is like, this is the core of marketing right here. If you, if you learn nothing else from this video, okay, just learn that this these two things right here, these are the most important things for any advertising, for any marketing message, anything like that. This is the key to your future, really. Okay. All right. So number three, is three going to show up here? I might have to erase something and I didn't. All right. We're just going to try it. All right. Three. Okay. Again, what sets you apart? Whatever that is. Put it right there after your message. Okay. So this is where it's going to be um, really customized, generic. I can try to go. I'm going to make a few videos um, to talk about how to actually figure out what makes you different. Okay. But what you got to realize is that this question right here, a lot of times is answered by the attention grabbing that you do and how you meet their three core desires. Okay. For example, all right, let's take Walmart. Walmart just says everyday low prices. Okay. That's cool. All right. 
What does Whole Foods do? Whole Foods says, hey, our stuff's organic. Hey, we have, you know, grass-fed beef. Hey, we have, you know, the, the highest quality stuff. And if you go in a Whole Foods, okay, if you go in a Whole Foods, it's not grungy. I was in a Walmart today, and it just felt dirty the whole time I was in there. Uh, a whole, you go into a Whole Foods, it's not like that, right? They take uh, pride and care in their atmosphere, all right? Walmart doesn't do that. So the attention that I give to Walmart is much less than I might give to a store like Whole Foods, or we have a local store called Rouse's, which is kind of like Whole Foods, but better in my opinion. My wife disagrees, but that's okay. She can she can be wrong if she wants to. I think that's what I said. So anyway, what you do to gain people's attention right off the bat is already going to be um, something that sets you apart. <clears throat> you know, if you are, you know, getting out in your community, if you are, uh, if you are actually advertising, if you're like, po uh, uh, running very strategic YouTube ads or Facebook ads or something. And you're not just doing all this blank blanket marketing um, that a lot of people do. When you really hone in on what the three core desires are of your, of your target audience, and you do something to grab their attention in that manner, well, that's kind of already different, right? It's like, whoa, someone is actually caring, right, enough to get my attention from the noise that I experience every day. Um, I saw one... One of the coolest ones, honestly, um, this was, uh, you, you guys probably heard me talk about the, uh, the expert, uh, secrets book, expert secrets book. So, um, uh, Russell Brunson, uh, is a marketing genius and he wrote that book and he came up with a lot of the kind of modern internet marketing things. And one of the, uh, ads that he ran that I saw recently was there was a guy, uh, and he had a toilet lid on him. And Russell Brunson grabs, uh, you know, uh, I guess, uh, maybe it was real cash, I don't know, but he just grabs a wad of money, right? And he starts throwing it at this guy that's got the toilet lid on him. And he says, stop throwing your money down the toilet. <laughs> and it was so bizarre, yet so funny, yet so clever, um, that I had to pay attention and watch the ad, okay? So, uh you know, things like that, let, the, let your creative juices flow. Um, the things that I don't recommend, okay, are the ones where they're like lying to people and saying like, you know, do you want to lose 60 pounds in two hours? Or, you know, this device makes people, you know, lose weight while they're sleeping. And, you know, this trinket can help you with 700% returns on $2, you know, that type of stuff okay don't use that as your attention grabber because your quality people they're just going to say okay you're full of crap and they're going to dismiss you entirely okay but uh when you do creative stuff like you know the guy's just got a toilet lid on on his you know it's kind of like hanging on his shoulders and somebody's throwing money at him. okay that's that's catchy at least right so whenever you're whenever you're doing this okay think about how can my attention grabber fit in with the three core desires? So Russell Brunson's thing, okay, he is there to make, uh, to help uh, entrepreneurs use his platform ClickFunnels to make money, right? So the money that he's using is to, to throw down the toilet, right? That is, that is automatically fitting in with the wealth core desire of his target audience, okay? Some people might have be in the wealth or relation, I'm sorry, the health or relationships core desire. So how do you make your attention thing fit in with health or with relationships, okay? Guys, I'm telling you, number three, this is, this is going to be um, kind of the details, right? But this right here, attention and relating the attention grabber to the three core desires, that is going to be the meat and potatoes of what sets you apart from your competition, okay? And then once you've gotten that, you can fill in the X, Y, Z of what actually sets you apart. So for example, um, you know, I have a cleaning company, okay? My cleaning company, <clears throat> we, uh, we, we have a guarantee where, uh, we have a spot-free guarantee where there's no obvious spots. Um, left on your floors or whatever. Um, and I do that because, you know, for one, we you should be doing that anyway, right? But again, another video I have, it's, uh, 
it's okay to increase the perceived value even though um, even though it might not actually be something that costs you anything, right? Um, let's see, what was the other one? Uh, kind of lost my train of thought after that. But anyway, okay, it, it can be something that you're already doing. You just need to make your customer aware of it, all right? Um, for, for some of the network marketing stuff that I do. Well, it's like not only do you get, you know, a, an opportunity to make money and to excel and succeed, but you also get to join my team where I actually give you templates and help you build your own stuff and help you uh, in training that I've developed and the whole thing, okay? And how to do network marketing in the 21st century. That is something additional, right? That I can that sets me apart from people who are just like, hey, you want to, you know, make five hundred bucks a week while you're at your house? You know, it's like, yeah, but if I can, you know, get five hundred bucks a week and get trained to do it, then boom, okay, it just that's what sets me apart. So that all being said, okay, th these details are important and it's good to figure that out. But if you can't even get their attention. How are you going to get down to where they can hear your message? Okay. So just remember what sets you apart starts with how to get their attention and make sure that how you get their attention wraps into the three core desires. And from there, you can almost write yourself your own ticket. Okay. So I hope that helps. Um, I will probably do a more detailed set or well, one deep video for sure but I'll, my, I might even make this a series um because this is actually kind of important right here as well but this part right here remember if you take nothing else away from this video remember attention and three core desires that is your number one thing okay um am I missing anything I don't think I'm missing anything okay so anyway I will see you guys on the next video love you guys go forth and conquer and let the world know what sets you apart